Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. My name is Naninga Koe. Thank you so much for joining me again today. So today we're going to talk about how you can make your eyes whiter or clearer for Africans because I'm an African. So I cannot speak for all of us in the world. No. Don't be shocked by the amount of shine in this video. No, no, no. The amount of shine, glitter, sequins, gloss in this video. Do not be shocked. It's a new year and what I learned from the previous year is that you only live once and you might as well shine your way through your life. are we talking about yes how to make your eyes whiter now the reason i'm doing this video is actually because so many people have told me that i have white eyes and some went as fast to tell me that i might be sick and malnourished because my eyes are white well you are looking at the wrong place mister or miss because you definitely don't look at your eyeball to check whether somebody is malnourished. You look at your... Oh god, they look white. <laughs> you look at your, you know, inner parts. So, anyway, why am I doing this video? Because I want to help somebody out there who has yellow eyes, red eyes, itchy eyes, orange eyes and all manner of eyes out there. So let's just get into the video and don't forget to like and to subscribe if you did enjoy or get it. The first thing I'm going to tell you people, if you want to have whiter, brighter, shinier, glossier eyes, is to cry, yes. That's why I captioned this as for Africans because we Africans, we don't cry. We don't cry, we only make our eyes turn red if we are extremely angry or extremely emotional you might see our eyes turning red but you're not going to see those tears we've been conditioned since we were young to actually not cry and case example here and there's someone i've known for about five years let's just say my fiance for about five years and he shed a tear once 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 and when i say tear i mean tear not tears tear so basically the purpose of tears is actually to lubricate your eyes to remove irritants to you know cleanse your eyes and all manner of things and it's also an emotional release so if you're not tearing up what is getting rid of foreign matter of course definitely there's the natural lubricant that is always in the eyes but the tears actually help to remove like come on guys believe you me cry at least once a week i'm not talking about crying on a daily basis might mean that you have some emotional problems but at least shed those tears shed them release them <laughs> exercise your eyes cry believe you me it clears your eyes and i tend to think that is the main contributing factor that actually we africans don't have white eyes people don't cry people don't cry i'm telling you if you're to interview people and ask them when was the last time you cried People are going to tell you, I can't even remember. Well, just go to Europe and interview people. People will tell you, well, there was a wedding last week and I cried. Or, well, there was a movie that I watched yesterday night and I cried. So, we're not crying, people. Well, personally, I cry at least once a week. And I'm not talking about I have emotional problems. I mean, I listen to Coldplay. I listen to the Beatles. You know, Africans don't have sad music. Our music is feel good music. So I head on over to the sad music areas, listen to some Coldplay, listen to the Beatles, listen to sad music basically and cry my heart out and i almost have a routine for crying believe you me so i think that's the main contributing factor and by the way normally the next day don't cry until you have puffy eyes but normally the next day after i've had a good cry my eyes usually have a sparkle like they're sparkling like they still have some tears left so they're like white and sparkling so guys cry stop holding in your tears 
is to take plenty of water. Yes, it goes without saying. People have said, researchers have said that human beings should take plenty of water because basically our body is just water. So make sure that you're taking plenty of water. It also, if you're not taking enough water, dehydration also affects the eyes. It doesn't just affect your body, like your kidneys and all. It also affects your eyes and your eyes will become irritated because the lubricant will also not be there and all manner of stuff. So make sure that you're taking plenty of water that is going to help your eyes. And personally, I take plenty I'm talking plenty of water. In in fact, if I'm to talk about my morning routine, I always start with a cup of water daily for several years. Like I always start with a cup of water. I don't take anything into my body until I've taken water. So take plenty, plenty, plenty of water. It's not only good for your eyes. It's also good for your skin. It's also good for your general well-being and it's healthy and it's going to help eliminate so many problems that you may not realize you have okay you know personally one thing you should know is that i'm not talking about sick eyes sick eyes is a completely different thing if you have sick eyes maybe they are oozing substances they are red and these tips are not working go see a doctor okay make sure that you go see a doctor if you have sick eyes and definitely if you have sick eyes, you will know because there'll be a change in your eyes. But I'm talking about people who maybe just have red eyes and they're not sure what's happening and they've had it for such a long time and they just don't know what to do. The third thing I'm going to advise us as Africans and anybody else who might be interested in how to whiten your eyes naturally. No, this is not about whitening your eyes naturally. It's about how to get rid of those brown, red, yellow eyes that we are seeing walking around. And if you have yellow eyes, I think that is an illness or a body condition. You're not supposed to have yellow eyes. I'm talking about people who have rust colored eyes, red eyes, and irritated eyes, and all manner of eyes that we are walking around with. So the next tip I'm going to give you is actually to make sure that you're not using fake makeup. This goes out to the ladies because I know ladies are also the ones who want to whiten their eyes. Do not use fake makeup. I personally have used fake makeup for a pl plenty good deal of my life, which is um, like about ever since I started using makeup, I would mix in some originals with fake. I'm talking about eye makeup, which is eyeshadow, mascara, especially mascara, mascara, eyeliner, the things that go around your eyes. Do not use fake products. Invest in a good mascara. You know, a mascara is not something you buy every week. It's not something you buy every month. It's something you can even use for up to six months. So invest in a good mascara. Nowadays, there are some really affordable brands that have been brought to us. You know, previously, shipping costs used to be expensive and all that. So um, like good brands out there were kind of expensive. So right now, I'd just tell you invest in a good mascara. Honestly, do not use fake products. They can cause you to go blind. And I've ever told you a video. I think there's a video I, I kept on saying in several videos that have stopped using um, eyelashes temporarily. And the reason I stopped using eyelashes temporarily was because of an eyelash glue that I bought that nearly caused me to go blind. Yes, I'm not lying. It caused me to wake up with a swollen eye. I'm that sensitive. My eyes are that sensitive. I, w I used uh, an eyelash glue that I bought online and then it happened to be fake, like really, really fake, I could tell. And I'm telling you, it, the day I used it, the next morning, I used it in the evening, I think, to film, if I'm not wrong. The next morning, this was just recently, I'm talking about three months ago. The next morning, I woke up when my eyes were swollen. I'm talking swollen. I'm not talking puffy. I'm talking swollen like bee sting and this actually caused me to actually stop using eyelashes for a while because i was so traumatized and i was so shocked and i know that in kenya most of our products are not really original products i don't want to hate on my car i don't hate on my country i'm a patriot 
I love Kenya, but please, there's an influx of fake makeup and just use it wisely or carefully because you can do more damage than good to yourself. So what I can tell you is that one of the things that makes people's eyes red and irritated is actually fake makeup. So if you want clear eyes, lay off the fake makeup, fake brands, fake products that are being brought from certain countries. I won't name which country, but it goes without saying anyway. But um, a lot of this fake makeup is uh, horrible, terrible. It can even cause long-term damage to you because some of these things are laced with heavy metals. Yes, they're laced with heavy metals. And anybody who did anything to do with health knows what heavy metals do to your body. You might end up, you know, heading to see our savior earlier than anticipated. So make sure that you lay off the fake products if you want sparkly, sparkly, shiny, nice, bright. Okay, another way you can actually make your eyes bright is actually to make sure. Yes, get checked for allergies. Get checked by a doctor if you have eye allergies. There are some people, after all, most allergies present themselves with the eyes. Yeah. So make sure that you get checked by a doctor and get treated for allergies because a lot of us are walking around getting irritants into our eyes and overreacting to those irritants. So make sure that you get checked for allergies because there are common cause of red and irritated eyes. Yeah, so that is another tip I'm going to give you. Another thing is to lay off cigarettes and smoking or to assess how much partying, smoking, drinking that you've done because a lot of these things affect our eyes and our eyes end up presenting themselves as red. And if you know that you're drinking heavily or smoking a lot, I don't see why you should be questioning why your eyes are red in the first place because... That is the reason they are red in the first place. So lay off that and your eyes will. Another thing that you could check is actually, or oops, not checking, not checking. I'm digressing. Uh, another thing that you can do to make your eyes clear is actually to use eye drops. If you are a hundred percent sure that your eyes are not sick, if you're a hundred percent sure that you don't have any allergies, if you're a hundred percent sure that maybe you just rubbed your eyes or something and uh, your eyes got red and you urgently need them to turn white, you can always use eye drops. There are so many over-the-counter eye drops in our chemists and our local pharmacies. They are there. There are eye drops that are over-the-counter for dry, tired eyes, for irritated eyes, for whitening, for what. They're there. And uh, make sure that your... 100% sure that your eyes are not sick because eyes are really sensitive. You just don't want to ignore signs and symptoms and end up blind or something of the sort. You know, sometimes you can ignore signs and symptoms and think your eyes are just red for the sake. Go get some over-the-counter things and the next thing you know, it was a disease and your eyes are gone and you cannot see. We don't want to not see, guys. This video is just for those people who are sure that their eyes are not sick. So... much guys for watching i truly appreciate you wherever you are whoever you are i hope you're having a wonderful wonderful year and yeah i'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe if i helped you in any way and or entertained you at least don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and i normally post three times a week guys three times a week i'll see you in my next video ciao